Hey guys, before the video starts, I would just like to say, Island, you better put this in game or else I'll come to your house tonight and eat you and your team in one go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm going to show you guys something very funny. I actually have an idea. And it's actually the truth. <laughs> if I see one of the most rarest things in the game, like to say the um, the spider egg pet thing, since it's so rare, I wouldn't even care because I am so scared of spiders. I'll just give it away for free or just like throw it off the edge of the map. Or I wouldn't even care about the cash. <laughs> I'd be so scared for my life. Oh my god, I, that would be funny if you guys saw me going like, <laughs> yeah. But anyway guys, so um, I had an idea, since I saw so many prices and deals and stuff, I actually bought some uh, basic sprinklers, and yeah, I also sold the two treasure chests that I just got in the last video, it was gonna, I think it might be a time lapse or something, I'm not sure what it will be, I think I hope that this video doesn't have like too much of a song to it because I'm actually putting some little background music into it. Um, probably should be doing it in real life, but I can't because I have to put it on this iPad and that could actually screw everything up. So I'm not going to risk that. Anyway, so uh, I was thinking that we should get like uh, some spirit sort stuff because I actually saw in the shop. Oh no, I was gonna get that out. Um, when I went to the wholesale sailor, I was going like, oh my god. What's 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 this? What's this? A spirit palette. Five thousand one hundred coins to sell them. Now I know, yes, like that that is ridiculous. But why would I go in there? I don't know, I just wanted to see if they had any deals for oil. Or like props or something. But also, I was also interested. So, deal with it. <laughs> anyway, let's buy some plants and stuff. Let's get some uh, spirit saplings because I know they are pretty useful because so many people, so many different people use them. I'm gonna get a spirit seeds. That will get us an instant 100k or something, still 100k. Um, but yeah, it's been out in the game for years now. It's been out for a year. And people still sell them and buy them for ridiculous prices. Oh my god. Guys, please help me. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. I can make a whole news sort of thing, like Chase Rooney does for a living. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine me doing something like news and stuff. Oh god, I'd, I'd be... I'd be... I'd be a nerd. I'd actually be smart. I, I would love to be smart, but... I'm too scared of my tinty winty little... Dummy brain not working the same. <laughs> yeah, I kiss people out in public. I think I need to be smarter. <laughs> All right, shut up. I, I'm not. I'm don't actually do that. Don't actually do that. Like who does that? Like, like uh, uh, uh. I don't know. I don't know who does that. Like, but all I know is not me. Okay, you guys got that. You better, you better understand. I would never do such things. I never do such things, ever. But seriously though, if I was a news guy, I'd be so, so smart. 
because then I'll go like, yeah, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I have to know when everything gets updated or something, you know. Well, whatever. Whatever. That's, I know that's what, not what Chase Rooney does, but he's very smart. I reckon he is because he knows all the mechanics. He knows everything that's going on in Twitter. That's not smart. That's CIA work. All right, I, sh I have to shut up, okay? I'm sorry. But still, though, I would be a nerd. Yes. I would be. For knowing news, you're, you're automatically smart. You're automatically a nerd. Nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerd. <laughs> Alright, I have to shut up soon. It's almost my bedtime. <laughs> shut up, me. Alright, let's see. I'm a little baby. Alright, seriously, though. Like, I don't think I would survive a day being a news guy. I'd be on the exploding out words and I'd be spitting over the camera. <laughs> you guys don't know how really bad I am. You have no idea. No idea, I tell you. No idea. Plus, I'm not good enough at editing, so... That is going of an idea. I'll never be a news guy. I don't want to be a nerd. Well, actually, I do want to be a nerd, but I don't want to have to pick my nose. Okay, that makes no sense. Hey, you get me. Talk to me. Mr. Uh, yeah, I want to talk more about this stupid Highlands updates. And also, you know what the funniest thing is about it all? Updates every Friday. Stop the cap. It hasn't been doing that ever since Bed Wars was released. Now, all anyone cares about is the Bed Wars updates and releases. I'm telling you, that's all anyone cares about in the old days. Oh my god, Bed Wars got this. Bed Wars got that. Who cares? It's just Bed Wars. Could I remember the good old days? So get, put your head out the ground. You're not an ostrich. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so seriously, this... It's just, it's just annoying that islands... The, the most, like, played updates were around the oil update. The oil update was a big mistake. Like, I guess they were going like, well, you can't AFK, you're supposed to be playing it. Like, like AFK is not really supposed to be a thing, really. But, like, they leave other stuff like that. And why, and why does that make it so hard to do anything? Because, like, yeah, the oil update was one of the worst. But also, some of these updates are just terrible because, well, the chests. You know how I, how I, how I got, like, this many, right, these sprinklers? Yeah, well, you know how I got them? I spent $2 million on them. How did I get that $2 million? $2 million? I sold two chests. Chests. Which kind of chest? Treasure chest. How many? Two. It's just ridiculous. Like, islands. Are you going to do something about this? Because, like, they're not out of the game. They've been in the game for, like, seven months. Oh, my God. Like, really? And everyone's, like, still going for, like, millions. You know, the first time I ever made my... my ten, you know, the first time I ever made ten million was off of... One treasure map or treasure chest. I was wrapped. Actually, no, that was my first million. It was insane. I had like 12 million. Actually, no, I got like 24 million, something like that. Like, where are those days, man? Like, you could actually barely create any cash anymore. 
Plus, they also always reduced the item, like the the crops selling price. They've always done that. It's the updates have been terrible. They've reduced it a lot. There's not many as many crops as there was. I know that for sure. But there's actually new crops that are like worth so much, and you could buy cactus seeds. Like what? Where's like all the worth has gone down now? I actually worked so hard to get all that sort of stuff, and that's only worth two thousand dollars. Two thousand. It was like before that, it was worth like millions, and I only had two because I worked so hard for them. And then they've done star fruit. Wow! And this and this star fruit seeds are still going for more. Well, I'm not sure, but I believe you could actually buy them in the shop now. But still, like, like they're still going for like millions. Like, if, if anything, I reckon that it should be um, the newer ones that are going for millions. It's like crazy. Islands players have um, yeah, they're gone, gone crazy. But yeah, I I worked so hard on that, and I and once I found out, I was pissed. I actually quit, rage quitted, because I worked a long time on the in the desert map as well. Oh, and guess what's the what is the worst part about now? They have like so nerfed the um, what's it called the uh, the, the ruby staff. Like, they've nerfed it so much. It's just it's just incredible how much they can nerf such a great item. And it's still yet now worth, like, millions. It's still worth tens of millions. Like, only people that are actually, like, you know, willing to buy them for good prices are probably, like, down... Nearby the the one millions or something, even though it's such a good resource, like like the material made out of ruby stuff, you need ten of the most one of the most rarest things in the whole entire game. It's a one in five chance, and you get that 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 one in five in uh five hours basically at maximum, and and minimum is one hour. It could even be, like, two hours, probably. Like, it's... Because, like, it's just terrible. It's probably one in ten. Probably one in, a, one in a hundred. That's how rare they are. And yet now they're, like, still so, like, bad. Like, the Ruby Stars, like, used to used to heal, like, crazy from them. Used to heal others. Like, is that maybe what it is? Like, you could heal each other, but it's just, like... Well, if you can't heal yourself, then what's the point if you're in a private server? Private servers are supposed to be, like, you know, areas where you could grind in them. Well, I guess you could go to the spirit area, but also, like, it's probably actually better to be in a public server because no one better even, no even, barely even uses this place. It's like... Come on, islands! Like fix these things. Like these are big problems, and the staircase problems, the everything, and and I miss the old. I miss the old kind of, like uh, what's it called? Uh, I miss the old totems, and prices have gone up so high in islands. There's not much more to do in islands. I actually get sort of bored nowadays, in islands. I go like, well, I want to keep playing, but there's nothing I could really do. Like, to advance, I just have to go, like, a lot harder. Like, it's either, like, if you want to advance, you have to work harder. Or if you want to advance more, you have to not work very hard at all. That's that's my motto, because you can't be in the middle. Can't be in the middle, otherwise it will be just too boring for so many players. That's why Islands have, has died out. And, like, re- like I also requested so long ago, I think I actually spoke to some people and actually chanted in chats, going, like, we need we need armour in the uh, islands. It still has never come out. It's 
it's like probably because of legal copyright reasons or something, but like some sort of armor would do better and stuff. Like you're just naked the whole time. XP caps, we need enchantment items and stuff. Like these are all stuff that we want in the game. And we want to not have like if if we're gonna have like levels, then we need at least like to use them in a different way. Like like we get more like cash from a certain type of thing, like farming, we get more yield, but what about if it was like more yield or like more like cash for crops or something? We need something like where you don't need XP or stuff to um to unlock items. Maybe you could spend it to unlock items or something. That will work out very nice. Well, just these are updates that are probably more wanted than anything really by lots of other different people. Like, can we agree? And also, the quests. Where are all the quests? Like, I don't see them in Mount now. Like, what? And then there's, like, all these colours have changed as well. Orange used to be the natural colour of these spirits. If Like, I was wondering, like, are they ever actually going to get rid of it? Well, I'm not sure if they even will get rid of the spirit island. No, you got spirit jars. And, like, it's sort of unrealistic, really, in a way. Because... Where are the jars coming from? We should actually have these materials ourselves. But also, if it's going to be realistic or not, then why do we need bows? Like, and how come the vampire bow is renamed and all these names that we grew to know and love have been changed? It's either like islands have gotten like really bad copyright or something, or like they're just changing it because... They just want it to be a more complicated name. Plus, the steel update. That was one of the worst updates in history of islands. I would actually prefer the um the steel update to be reversed. Rather than the oily crops update. Because I sort of understand the oily crops. But if steel was removed, it would make life so much easier and so much better. Because you could barely ever make, like... Like, convey about itself. Like, what's the point in making a farm if it's hard to make the, um, the, the conveyor belts rather than just having oily crops itself? Like, you don't need both. You only need one or something. Because that's just, like, crap. And I hope, Islands, you're watching this. Easy GG. And, like, Bed Wars. People do say that Bed Wars has been ruined because of all these updates and stuff. They don't want all these different kinds of customised, modelled stuff. There should be separate games for those sorts of things. And keep a backup update of the original ones and stuff, like, with no updates or whatever, because people might want to go back to the old days, but they can't because that's that's, that's, that's how updates work. Like, you cannot, like, revert back. Because then there's going to be, like, an angry crowd going, like, we want the, the update back, you know what I mean? Like, so this is why, like, you should more have more types of different games, you know? Makes more sense than just updating all of different types of ones. And I would ra recommend, say, don't say, like, you're going to update each game, like, every single so often, like, week. Because it's not going to happen. It's too much stress on you, you guys. The team, it's it's not very easy, is it GG? So, um, is, so, Island, seriously, this has not been, these, uh, these are updates that are just terrible. Like, yeah, they just really bad. The steel update, there's nothing else you could really do, except for create all those sorts of things. And as I remember back in the good old days, man, where, like, there was no bosses. There was actually no bosses back then. People, there was no bosses. There no boss battles. None of this queen sort stuff. And none of these tokens. I had no idea tokens were even a thing until I noticed in my inventory. And when I was killing slimes and stuff. 
Slimes were my favourite to kill, even though they're the one most annoying. And I'm glad you fixed the despawning thing, where slimes kept despawning because it was impossible otherwise. And I know that the, the king, the king slime was is in the game, but that makes prices go so much more further down in like shopping and stuff. Like now, you, now you could barely make money off of that sort of stuff. Rare, that is rare. I reckon like the old stats were pretty good, but then this queen thing and these pets can't the pets have like some sort of ability that makes it like two percent faster? Like in High Pixel, because this was originally created off of High Pixel, same as Bed Wars. I know that. So like, why not do something a little bit like that, but different and make sure you have like all like legal copyright stuff because well yeah this because uh then they'll think that you're really copying them and i know that you guys had a big battle basically so yeah i just had to change it to islands but it was actually originally skyblock i actually played it when it was first released in beta in beta yeah then I watched my favourite YouTuber at the time, Dennis Daly, uh, play it. And then I went, like, I'll give it a shot again. Because I was going, like, oh, my God, this is so annoying and hard. And so I remember the very good old days where, where like, you used to have these these little things to access the island. But also, now you need, like, a stone sword to access it. But now you don't anymore. There's so many different updates. It's just ruined the game. Lots of these updates have ruined the game. Plus, there's, like, all these alternate ways of making money is more automated than anything. Really. You guys want, like, you know, no auto farms, really. You guys are just implementing it now. Like, you guys are just encouraging it. It's one or the other, really. That's what I would say. If you don't want stuff for certain things, then... You should just remove those things from the going together, in, in all general. And also, like, I was also wondering, wait, where's all the oily crops guy going? Like, I don't, I don't know where he is. And I was looking around for an hour, and then I just went like, ah, oh, screw it, I'll search it up on Google, or whatever, YouTube. I put it up at the side of my screen, I looked around over there, uh, guess what I found? Nothing. Only two years ago when it was first released into Ireland. That's right. It's actually been two years since this stupid oily crop appetite. How was that? Or was that just a prediction? Prediction. Oh, my God. It's just ridiculous, guys. I would like some of the old island ba islands back. And, like, it's like, man, like, you know, because some of these crops have been reduced of cash so much, like the berry farms that we used to have, they're almost useless now because they don't make much money anymore because that you guys have reduced it from being better than any other crop in the game, so now being only 22 bucks. Like, that's even more than last time I played. It's like, every single year, you bring it down again by one dollar. Eventually, it's going to be zero dollars. It's not going to be worth anything. The berry seeds are just going to be crap. Plus, we also cannot regen, like, like islands. Do you know how good that update was? It was a relief. Yeah, we, we couldn't beat all the bosses just by ourselves. But, like, the maple stuff was really hard. And, like, that's the sort of stuff that you would want, sort of, in a way. If you guys want, like, no healing and stuff. If you want stuff from, like, like the bosses, like, if you're battling bosses and stuff and you don't want people to heal, then use something like an effect, like Core used to have, where you couldn't heal from, like, eating food. You could still heal, but, like, 
maybe just use like a different one like you know code the game into a different thing i know there's a lot of scripting involved but you guys have done so much but you can't fix that sort of stuff but you guys can do it i know you can I'm actually a developer myself. I actually work pretty hard on my games. I actually haven't been working too hard. I've been slacking off a little bit recently because like there's so much more to do now. But yet yeah, this island, it's it's been a it's been a heck of a lot of terrible updates. But it's just the the um steel update is definitely the worst one because I was when I actually found out I went like no. No, that's why I can't create stuff anymore. And I was going like, what? Oh my God. And not only did they just change the texture pack, it was actually a whole new item. It was a whole new item. So I deleted all the like, like stuff from my inventory that was, you know, that was like an iron rod. Then they added so many different weapons. Like, I reckon, like, we don't even have, like, a golden sword, a full-out full out golden sword. Like, like what Minecraft has. We have iron sword, we have stone sword, we have wooden sword, we have diamond swords. But we don't have a golden sword. Plus, Bed Wars has an emerald sword. We don't even have emerald in Skyblock. Think about that, like, islands. Like, we need emeralds and stuff. What are all the minerals from Minecraft? Gold is one of them. Iron is the next one. Stone, well, it's, it's not a mineral, so we're not going to count that. Um, anything that you can make um, out of whatever. Re like redstone, redstone. That We got ele electrolyte, like electric light, whatever it's called. It's, 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 like, it's not useful, but it does do stuff in a way. It's like redstone, but... We need something more like that or something advanced like it. Maybe pipes could be, you know, because I've seen a few of those. Um, then we got lapis. That could be used for enchanting or something because we need some sort of enchants. Like, you know, like just the plain tools aren't going to be good enough. Like the swords, like we could even enchant stuffs to have like certain abilities. Like, you know, that would be so much easier, like, you know, to do stuff. Like, you know, it'll be more productive of a game where you do, like, lots of different other things rather than anything else. And it'll bring back lots of players. Don't you guys want players again? Because there's only thousands in here. Like, there used to be, like, this used to be, like, one of the most popular games at the time. It actually even competed against Piggy. It put up very well. Like, and it's only a little bit better than Piggy currently. In, um, in, like, players-wise. I only see, like, hundreds of players playing Piggy. There's thousands right now. There's only 4,000 players. Or, like, around that number. That's not too good, my friends, because I was seeing all these other Roblox games that came out of nowhere just stacking up piles and piles of players. Like, Islands has been such a good game. But the only players that are coming back are new players. Like, you know, we need some of these old features back, you know? Some spark. And remember all those events and Halloween events and all that stuff? I know there was one recently. I'm pretty sure there was. But we don't, I don't think we have had a Christmas event. Oh, actually, yeah, we have. But, like, you know, none of the stuff that comes out of that sort of stuff is very good. Like, good, good. Like, it's pretty bad stuff that comes out of it. Unless it's a really rare item. And all these items are just collectibles, really. Which, don't get me wrong, I love collectibles. But, like, uh... It's just, nah, I I can't do it, like, items that don't actually do stuff or help in any way possible. I like to collect stuff, yeah, but, like, where do I put them and stuff? Like, how do I show off the items I get? And also, who am I going to get as visitors anyway? Like, 
the pro pass. You need pro passes for people to come to your island in any way possible. And, like, you need to be friends with someone so they can visit any time, basically. Or you need to be in a public server, which is no problem, but, like, who's going to come, really? And also, there's so many scammers out there, anyway. I remember when my friend actually eventually tried it out. He got millions of dollars worth of stuff. But, you know, he felt bad and gave some stuff back. You know... But really, though, it's just he was he was going crazy for this Ruby staff. He was getting so many Ruby staffs. Well, I don't think it was released actually. No, because like yeah, like he was a big fan of Islands. Oh my god, I I actually showed it to him. He never really thought about it much. He actually used to steal stuff from me. The sneaky little bugger, you know, like some basic materials whenever we first started. And I had my very my very own tomato and um, wait place. I, I remember him just, like sneaking in with build mode on, and he goes like, dee, 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 dee. picks up a few, taps on the screen a few times, and then runs away. And remember, this was before sickles were even released. Yeah, these little things. Yeah, they was weren't released yet. Yeah, they weren't around forever. Like they were never around earlier. Yeah. And also, I remember when conveyors were first released, I was going, like, what are we going to do with them? And I was going, like, oh, my God, people are using them just to farm with these um, auto-clickers. Like, come on. And then I was going, like, years later, going, like, oh, you could use it for sickles and stuff. But, like, what's really the worth it? Like, you can't have an auto-clicker on it all the time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, let's get... Yeah. So that's the stupid islands updates. The more things that can just seriously go wrong. Like, let's just say, lots of these event items, you can never get them back. Well, I guess they are event but items, but maybe you guys should re bring, like, some of those rare items back or something. Because, like, you know. Maybe you should get, like, a starter kit for everyone and not make them go through a damn tutorial. You may maybe put a skip tutorial button, but put a warning sign next to it saying that this game is complicated. Just so people that are starting out, which they've already played the game before, like, they can do it. Plus, when they're starting a new island on the same account, you don't have to put tutorials everywhere, islands. Anyway... So, yeah, that's basically islands for you. And, like, multiplayer ones. Why don't they just, like, let us select when we start playing the game? Like, I, like, I'm going, like, like, what, what is islands doing? Like, come on, man. Like, you're a popular game, you know? Like, you like doesn't mean you should show off by going, like, do, 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 do. You know what I mean? You got one billion visits, great job, but... Like, what about the players? Like, there's not many players anymore. Like, you see Evade, it's sprung out. And, like, you know, Piggy? Piggy, that sprang out as well, but it's not playing anymore, really. Because there's no updates. When there's no updates that I actually wanted, or, like, requested or whatever, there's no way that you can ever get a game popular, popular again. You may be visited, yeah, but, like, like, what does that do, really? Plus, I know that you get, like, little amounts of Robux, but it matters more about the playtime that you have. It's like on YouTube, more, it more matters about the views, but still, though, it can also matter about the watch time as well. Watch time hours are also very important. They actually give you, your YouTube channel more, like, you know, eligibility and stuff. To, so people, like, can, like, it's recommended to more people to watch. Because otherwise, if it's, like, not been watched very long, like, it's been skipped or whatever, like, it's, oh, whoops, sorry, I accidentally clicked on this video. I have to go to, to the one I wanted. You know what I mean? Like, that's going to say, like, nah you, you, nah, you should be like, nah, man, 
YouTube, this this shit is crap. Not we're not we're not recommending it to anyone. Who wants to watch this shit? You know what I mean? Which if you guys actually got this far then, to, into the video, then well job, well well, well job, well done, good job. But still though, like it's just it's just sort of like that. And also with premium, I don't, I haven't seen many people with premium unless they just AFK all the time in their shops, and you allow that. Maybe because you get Robux. Maybe if people didn't play it, AFK, then that's maybe why. That's probably what's keeping up the whole 4,000 players. Or even just a 1,000. Because every, everyone is AFK. They're not playing anything. It's like YouTube's going to... No, sorry, not YouTube. Roblox is going to catch on to some stuff. That when you guys make acts, it's not going to be good. Other updates that have ruined the game, let's say, well, <laughs> I'm not sure, but those are the main updates that have ruined the actual game. Oh, I know what else ruined the game. I know what else. So, whenever, like, title spell books were, in, in, like, brought into the game, like, the wizards looked really weird and, like, they uh, were very buggy. And another thing is that the updates is that another thing that has ruined the whole entire game. I can even show you guys this. This is absolutely infuriating. Watch this. They updated the fireball to make it look like a love heart that's on fire, basically. And they put a little drag line. But you have to press this little button on the side of the screen. You see that? I'm making it light up right now because I'm holding it down on it, but you're supposed to tap on it. And, well, don't get me wrong, it's good. But now you can't tap on it on the screen anymore. It's like crap. And also, people are making PvP arenas. Is this, like, is it actually, like, PvP that you can enable on islands? Now I just don't even want to go on anyone's island and I don't want to play anymore because I'm scared that I might get killed and all my loot will be dropped. What about that? Because, like, if there's PvP, then... Like, the the shorter be, like, stuff where you lose your items when you die. Like, what are you supposed to do? That's just going to be crazy, terrible. Like, you know what? I'm going to John Cena this shit. Oh! Yeah. This is shit. Oh, my God. And, yeah, this is so much more. Also, one other thing that has actually ruined the game is, uh, well, I don't want to say this, but it's, uh, it's the grind. The grind has gone a little bit mad, crazy, because the slimes, the slimes, of course it's the slimes. Every single problem is from the slimes. You cannot... Trust me, trust me on this. You cannot get any sort of, like, you cannot get any sort of things from it. Like, the no normal slimes, there's only green slimes nowadays. You don't have to join a server to have any different type of colour. That's how it works nowadays. That's how bad it is. Islands needs to fix that. Definitely, that's, that's one of the main priorities. And also, apparently, some other random gar piece of garbage is has overtaken um, the smelter in the in that sort of thing. And that's and the smelter is only the industrial smelter is like only like one like with one pink sticky gear. You could get that like from the boss and like. One in a one, one in one in five or whatever, one in ten. It's pretty easy. It only take like probably around. Oh, wait. I don't know. Like this, this fifteen times ten. I don't. I don't want to think too much. But yeah, it's just really. It's just really not gonna be good. Well, I know, I know what fifteen times ten is. Dun, 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 dun. That's what I mean. That'd be two hours and thirty minutes. That'd be two 
two hours, 30 minutes, right? Yeah, that'd be like two hours, 30 minutes. And then you're guaranteed a, like, what, I think sticky gear. If not, then you'd have, like, a whole bunch of them. And in, in the mysterious portal shards, what is that supposed to mean? Like, they've been in the game for so long. Like, what is, what is, what did I do? Is that the way to get to the to underworld? And apparently now you need to have, be a certain level to go to the underworld. And apparently you could trade tokens now. That's just ruined the economy, honestly. Because people are just probably just spamming buy on these, on these like, you know little different things and they're wasting their monies and then you know just just getting all mad and stuff and i've seen the like you know everything go wrong yeah like and then the slime queen tokens like you could only get them from certain types of slimes and rare ones like the king for example and you get random amounts i would rather like you know have one or or nothing basically because you should only have one or like two to even access the the um slime because otherwise if not then the, it's this it's just it's just ridiculous because 100 like really a hundred that's a lot that's a lot of like killing sl- like king slimes. That's a lot. There's too many. I'm not killing the king slime that many times. And there's even a possibility that you might not even get one. So that's that's a very big one. And also we need more weapons. Like all the weapons that are good are out of game. They're out of game. Like what are you going to use now? Like, you're going to use your rusty wooden swords because you sold one of them for value? Probably did. Yeah, now you're going to use your wooden sword because, because uh, you messed up, you know? Like, like you need you need to use your wooden sword, yeah. Yeah, because you're crap. you got to work on those slimes. Then you have to work all your way up to getting a spell book again. It's just... Yeah, yeah, you messed up. You messed up real bad. Because that, well, <laughs> I remember when the, the pages of the books were worth like one million each. Where are those days again? I want those days back. Like many of us would agree, but now they're only worth like what one thousand each. The the pages. And, like, what? They're, some of them are more rare than others? Really? And also, we have to make the spell book ourselves. Like, why can't it just be put together or something? I don't know. And also, there's different t- currents. How do you get the title one over the, the fire one? Like, can you just choose which one you make? Because, like, I, I believe that... The title one actually does more damage. It's like, how's that fair? How's that more fair than anything? And how come the um, Ruby stuff does, doesn't do as much damage as the, the the title spell book? Or, like, the spell book? Like, it, it used to be worth, like... It, like, the, the damage didn't even matter at that time because all that was needed was just healing. But now that's just gone, I I don't see any worth for the for the ruby stuff. I just really want to have it, but it's just not worth anything anymore. It's it's just a, it's crap. It's all been gone to crap. And I was always so good using the spell book. It's it's just crazy now that you have to use these these stupid things. And you also you have you you can aim up now. What? You can aim down, that's going to be so much more harder. Like, I'd way prefer to shoot, like, wherever my body is, but you can't do that now, apparently. Well, I guess you can still do it, but, like, it's so much more harder. You can't, you can't, you're not even allowed to look at the boss anymore, basically. 
it's 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 just all crap, really. And if anything, it's it's actually of a downgrade, not an update. It's a downgrade. It's like it's like removing. It's like it's like if you're like eating a pizza, and and you and you don't want the crust, then you're downgrading the pizza. Because like you could have just asked for it without the crust. You know what I mean? So I said, no, then, well, that's okay. But if like, they let you have, like, no crust, then that's just not even an upgrade, not even a downgrade. It's the same. If it was an upgrade, then they would add crust. So what is that? Downgrading it. That's basically what Islands is doing. That's what I'm just really mad at. But it's not a pizza, not a pizza, no, no. So it's like it's like when you ask for like like you know like, like little pieces of cheese you know what I mean like like little visible pieces of cheese you know what I mean like you know, I I don't know how to explain it, but yeah it's just, it's just like asking for that and then just taking them off that's downgrading but Islands is doing it in a way where it's like you know it's taking like good features away. Like, you know, it's taking, like, wait, so, the, the, um, the good old stuff that we used to have, like, we don't have it anymore. So, basically, they've taken away, um, the bank things, like, the bank dude, he's gone, he's gone, like, that's downgrade. That's downgrade, definitely downgrade. But they've left the items behind, so now it's just limited, which means it's, like, so much more wor- worse. And, like, people are just going, like, I need all of them, all these limited, and I'll be, like, the, one of the most rich people ever, even though they're only, like, worth, like, thousand, like a few thousand and stuff. But they're really now worth, like, you know, so much. I saw this dude, like, you might be seeing it on the time-lapse, be selling, like, I mean, buying... The, these um these bank things, like these bank bags, money. Uh, I saw him going like, I'm buying them all for sixty nine. Doesn't matter the amount of money they have in them. It's just I want it. And I actually used to have one for a very long time, but then when I like, ooh, ten thousand dollars, they're selling it for, they're buying one for ten thousand dollars. I want to do that. Little did I know that you could buy them for like ten million dollars now. And that was then that was the worst decision I ever made because I it was only made, um, not even a hundred thousand. Now that is rip, rip me. So yeah, that's basically this the downfall of islands, the actual downfall. That's this downfall, man. It's downfall. And guess what they're doing? Nothing about it. And guess what's gonna happen next? Bed was gonna go down falling right under its knees because, like, you know, Doors is taking over basically. Doors, other games like Doors actually fired up like so high. They're, they're one of the most popular games on Roblox right now. And also, Blocks Roots, that's, that's taking over. Like, like I didn't even know how, how big it was of a game until, like, I noticed. Like, how many players it was. I, I didn't even know that I was playing such a popular game. But, yeah, like, it's insane. It really is. Of, like, how dumb some of these updates are. I mean, downgrades are. <laughs> they used to saying it only when I'm talking about islands. It's been a while since I've talked about it. So, yeah, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely such a downfall. It's actually kind of sad. The islands can't do too much about it because, well, one is actually one thing that they have downgraded again is that, well, when you're doing stuff like, you know, 
not as easy. And trees a good, good, good update happened. And we all thought that it was good, but it was not good because the the lumbar the lumber thing like the initial lumber jack machine where you could actually destroy um like trees uh and then get wood out of it um was a terrible idea because no one even uses it nobody uses it like if i accidentally made it i'd i'd be looking anywhere to sell it i could i would not be able to sell it not even for a penny I'll be going like, please, I'll give it to you for free. And, and everyone will go like, no, it's just going to waste on my inventory space. Even though you don't have any, but still, like, you know. That's just, that's just the lumber thing. And since the tree update where you could actually not have to pick up the sapling and place it back down, where it actually automatically places it down for you after you chop the tree, it doesn't even work with the lumberjack thing. That's a terrible update. It got everyone's hopes up once they noticed. It was a terrible update. I'm not even sure if that's actually what happened, but it sure happened to me. That's that's why I'm saying it's a terrible update. It was it was not good. So yeah, and and so also what else we're wanting is more like ruby items, like ruby sword now. Like, come on, is that going to be better than Ruby Staff after all of this? Probably, yeah. Because what is magic in the end of the day? Something terrible because everyone hates it for some reason. I don't understand why either, but it, so for some reason just everyone hates it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I officially don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. But what I don't get even more is why... People can be so annoying. Because, like, the spirit statue in game, Islands used to, like, you know, make these sorts of updates professional. You know? The spirit update was such a good idea in the end, but it's actually terrible because. They've removed old memories that everyone loves. And also, you know what else is very dumb? They made portals that you could make right from your house go to right to the other place because it's just skipping lots of loading and stuff and you could die just while you're out there, and, you know? And it's it's also going to bring you to a public server, most likely. Uh, yeah, if you're on a private server. Then there's also these teleporters, which you could actually teleport to anywhere, but you need to have a certain, like, amount of stuff to make orbs to go to their island. So how are you going to go there instantly? You're probably going to go through so many different servers and it's probably going to break the game, honestly. But you could teleport to your island. It's, it's, it's good, but it's it's just not good enough. And also, nobody uses this area. It's a, it's de basically a dead waste. This whole spirit island. It's so much work and effort put into it. It's a waste. Okay, it really is. Like if you think about it, it's, it's just nobody likes it anymore. Like it used to be most popular thing in islands, one of them at least, and now you can't even do barely anything with it. It's only just like an animal care place, you know. So you get animal care levels and XP. Nobody uses this anymore. Like, nobody. I'd be going, like, you're weird if you use it. Which I am using, which means I'm definitely weird. So, yeah, I, I actually am going, like, wow. People actually don't like these sorts of updates. We, like, and I've seen that islands have been making, like, new people in islands i don't think that's been working out very well because that's actually been making so much more harder and i've known that dv dv a youtuber actually um plays a lot of islands like i mean a lot 
most of the most of the time that anyone's playing this game is DV on top, like DV on top top. And he even had his own statue in the game. That was limited, definitely limited, because guess what? He's probably gonna leave pretty soon. I know. He, I know the last video that I saw of him was um recently, which was at not. Eight months ago, which I reckon that was pretty recent because it's not a year ago like everything else. That's probably one of the most closest things to islands here. And you know how, like, you know, you know what the most biggest thing, like, the biggest thing is about islands? When I was searching up about the oily stuff, the last post that was between three months ago was two years ago and then it was two weeks ago. It was that that is actually not very good because that's the downfall of islands right there. What that the oily update stopped everyone from playing. That that was a very big update that changed everyone's point of view of islands. That that will that will forever leave a dent in islands. So that's just how it is now. So definitely do not like you know. Do any more of this. Like, islands, like, we've had enough of your fun and games. Like, you know what I mean? You've had your fun and games. It's, it's time to stop. Like, seriously, this is crazy. Outrageous. I tell you. I tell you, outrageous. I'm telling you. It's crazy. What you're doing here is crazy, islands. I reckon you... You're going crazy, Islands. It's freaking me out. Have a look at this. There also used to be an area in Islands where, like, you could actually go and get Halloween items. I only participated in one Halloween event and I wasn't even, like, playing very much at all at that time, so I didn't even play technically. So, yeah, I'm also going to fight this boss real quick. And I'll say that, yeah, it's not a good, been very good updates. Plus, the slime, the slime, um, slime king pet, that was a good update, I reckon. I reckon that was probably one of the best updates that Islands had in a very long time. Like, you know, it's a very good update. But where the, where the area is of like the halloween event is in the slime king area actually and and the queen's place is actually blocking it basically and it's probably gonna have to be a different place this year like you oh wait sorry i mean like you know what i mean like next year whatever um but yeah so if we go up here you'll see like it's just I reckon this has been, like, torn down. It's been here for so long, apparently. Oh, yeah. It's so ancient. Yeah, like, it was here when it was first released and we never even saw it. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally, 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 totally. I'm not... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I so believe that. I, I, I so believe that. I so believe that. Anyway, see you guys soon in the next one. See ya.